Hi everyone, Farmer Rob here from Cannon Hall Farm. Uh, it is our annual pregnancy diagnosis and blood test for the anniversary herd of pedigree shorthorns and our herd of Highland cattle. It's a really big day. The, the wrong news today could mean disaster for either herd, so it's always a, a, a nervous time. We, we want them to get a clean bill of health, we want them to be in calf, we want everything to go our way. We've got Matt from the Yorkshire Vet here who is doing his stuff. He's a brilliant vet, we're very lucky to have him. Uh, we're thrilled that he's the vet who comes to our farm. So fingers crossed that everything goes well and that we get the right news at the end of the day. This is my favourite cow, Muriel, and I will leave you to Matt to tell us the, uh, the good or bad news. So good news, Muriel is in calf. Uh, we've had a good run thus far. Uh, Gorker is it Rob? Seems to have been doing his job. Is it Gorker the Corker Matt? I would say so yeah, yeah. he's gonna get a gold star so far <laughs> and um, well Muriel here she is in calf I'm just trying to see if I can um, age, age I'm her. I'm gonna say three months plus. You're gonna go three months plus. You know what you're, you're definitely on the right line there Rob. Definitely on the right line there Rob. I think she could even be coming up on that five months window. Oh, that's what David yeah. said. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't, I can't be too accurate because the weight of the calf is actually now sat right down in mum's belly, so I can't fully reach it. Um, but so yeah. you're basically guessing? Yeah, an educated guess. <laughs> an educated guess. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful five news, yeah. Muriel's in calf. She's my favorite cow. She's the one yeah, that I would yeah, love to, to, uh, to, to prosper in our herd for years to come. So that's a really great start. Last year we had the, the, the crushing disappointment of losing Jeremy. You know, he, he was found to be um, carrying and suffering from an incurable wasting disease. Uh, he was our stock ball, he was very dear to us. And, and, that, and that took a lot of getting over. We, we've now got Gorka, who, who's a great ball, he's a, a real good lad. But, but again, you've got that feeling in the pit of your stomach that if things go wrong, you could end up going down the same street. We don't want that, we want good news, not bad. This is my joint favourite cow and I'm going to call her Annabelle. She calved in early April. We bought her at a pedigree sale late last year. She's really special. She's got a really grand calf on her and, uh, and I'm really hoping that she's in calf. I'm predicting that she is and that she's four months on. David has put in with a strong seven months in calf, which I think might be wrong. I'm going two months. Two months? That's the second choice, so I'm not accepting that as a late intervention. <laughs> Well, when I six, uh, Matt, there's a, a burger with, with extra large fries. So I'm going with two and a half because at the end of the day it means that we're both right and I get a pint and a burger. Yeah. <laughs> right, my favourite cow, Annabelle, the joint favourite cow, is two and a half months pregnant. She's a really, really classy cow. She's just what you look for in the breed. Uh, great news that she's pregnant. Matt's finished pregnancy diagnosing and blood testing the short owned cattle. It's now a waiting game. We know what's in calf and it's generally really, really good news. Everything that is tested is either in calf or there's a good reason why it's not. What we're doing now is waiting for the blood test results. Uh, we, we know from bitter experience that these can bring crushing disappointment with Jeremy last year. So we're keeping everything crossed now that these results for this year bring us good news. So thank you for watching. We'll give you an update on the results when we get them. And, uh, and hopefully it'll be uh, the very best of news this time. Thanks for watching. See you next time and we will keep you updated on the results of the blood test. Bye bye everyone.